Welcome back, it's Brad Taylor at Taylor Coach in Millgrove, Ontario, Canada. We're here to shoot another video on our 17-foot classic. We've been building this particular layout since 1978, and our motto is, if it's not broken, don't fix it. It's been a great layout for a lot of years. We've sort of modernized it and kept up with the, the new traditional campers, but we've kept it the same traditional tandem axle. We've got a nice full-size awning, it's a side door, Got the integrated stone guard on the front, keeping up with the times. We've got it all trimmed in black, being our 50th anniversary edition model as well. Um, let's take you on board inside and we'll show you how we've kept it the same over a lot of years. Now we got you on the inside of this particular coach. The thing that makes this coach popular over its, what, almost 40 years we've been building this particular layout is you know, it's got no pop-out canvas, there's no setups, no crank-outs, right? We've got our bunks on either end, we've got a nice 54 with a nice 40-inch dinette up here. So you've got the you got the avenue that you can sleep kids up above on the bunks. We rate our bunks for 200 pounds. Some of you have asked about the bunks as well. We have our two pins on either end. The bunk will swing down. You've got your cushions that separate. We have a liner that covers it. Cushions that separate makes into a nice bunk area up here as well as the bunk at the back. On the front of the coach we have our slope which takes away a little bit from the bunk where on the back it has it's more right on a straight 90 degrees so you don't have that chopped up piece on the bunk. As well as when this is up into a bunk here what makes it nice is it also now becomes a cabinet. So if you want to store duffel bags and different things like that or clothing, you've got room to store it. You can put it in out the door and if you want to get at it and you want to put extra blankets or big things up here, you can also swing it down and access it without using the doors. We still have our little knick-knack ledge up at the front here. We've got storage underneath both our seats here. The storage is accessed on this seat over here from the outside as well. Um, from there, you've got a nice stainless steel single sink. We've done a two burner cooktop, your range hood, you got your microwave or storage up above here for some of your dishes. This particular coach also has your Jensen multimedia player all built right in it as well. It has your Go Power solar system and that in it uh, down in the end here for, for keeping all your battery charged up as well. You've got storage underneath here. Uh, we've got your drawers built right in, so you got a couple drawers for all your, your towels and your cutlery. And also a door where you can put a garbage can and a recycle bin as well. Over on this particular side here, we also have our built-in toilet shower on this, on this coach. It also has a ducted heat system into the bathroom area here. So you also have heat into the bathroom as well, and you can regulate how much heat you need in the bathroom. Bob will catch us on our fridge. This is our standard fridge in it, which is a 5.5 uh, Dometic cube fridge. We also offer the 6.5, where you can get the separate freezer with a fridge below it. That would be an upgrade if some people would like that. You would just lose a little bit of your cupboard space below when you go to the bigger fridge, that's all. Also has your closet here um, with your rod up above and a couple of shelves for folding clothes as well. And on the back here, we have our traditional uh, gaucho here that pulls out to a double bed. Um, show you how it pulls out. It basically is going to pull straight out. It stops. Our cushion here flips back. So this will make into a 54 by 75 inch true double bed. Um, so the trailer on the outside width is 78, so you don't need mirrors on your vehicle to see by it. You also have cross ventilation all the way around the back here. All these windows open on the back here. So you can have window on your feet or your head and you got window on the a window that opens on the back. This particular bunk at the back, like I mentioned, it has the 90 degree on the back which gives you more storage. Works on the same principle as the front bunk. You just have your pins and it swings down. Um, this also has a TV back here and we have it where they're watching TV in bed and if they want they can move the TV down to the clip here and they can watch the TV up at the front. So it depends on how you really want to use the coach to the features that you're looking for. Um, but like I said, you know what, 
this has been a great layout for us for what almost 40 years and uh, we our motto is like I said if it's not broken don't fix it um, and it takes you away from a lot of those flip out canvas ones and that and lasts you many many years out there on the road weight wise on this coach when we put it on the scales it come in just over the 2100 pounds so it's very towable by a lot of the vehicles that are rated for 3500 pounds which makes it really great without having to add all your mirrors um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, watch for more videos down the road. It's uh, Brad Taylor at Taylor Coach in Milgram, Ontario. If you got some ideas and you want to get in touch with us, shoot us an email or you can give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. Um, we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye now.